Hey, how's it going? Doesn't matter. Let's talk about the guitar. Let's waste no time. This is the EART TL281 EART. It's in the guitar. They've been in the guitar game for a few years now, and I've been able to check out a number of their guitars over the past couple of years, and uh, they've all been solid. So I have high expectations for this one. And what is this one? This one is, oh, I got it right here. Why am I talking? I can actually show it. It's a Tele style guitar that's more modern and crazy. Whoop, see, it's trying to yell at me. Before we go any further, I'll mention that EART sent me the guitar and they are the sponsor of this video. And uh, at this point, most people would say, but all the opinions are my own. But did I say that? Well, now I did, but uh, it's true. But also I don't tell people to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. It's just not something I do or feel is necessary. Like if you want to subscribe, you'll subscribe. If you like a video, you'll click like. I don't need to tell people that. <laughs> Look at this thing it's like a graphite shiny it's really cool it's a really cool guitar okay let's run down the guitar like we'll talk about all the specs and here at a ton we'll do the normal deep dive stuff we'll go look inside it check out the stuff inside it but first i want to let you know about tim pierce's guitar masterclass i signed up as a member recently and i've been going through the course and loving it uh so i was stuck at a level of playing for years and I thought it needed improvement. So my whole goal is to uh, make my videos sound more musical and nice sounding, right? I wanna sound good in my videos. And I know in-person lessons are great. Highly recommended if you can do that. I'm doing both right now. I'm doing in-person, I'm doing the master class. But I know in-person is not an option for everyone. Everyone doesn't have the same resources or access to somebody in person. So, and there's a good chance you'll spend more money for in-person lessons in a month than you will for a year of Tim's masterclass. I jumped into the course in the intermediate section, but this course covers everything from beginner level all the way up. So I dove straight into the intermediate and I felt right at home and it's helped me a lot. And the, the really cool part is I'm not even making this up because I don't lie. And I can't even believe I'm saying this in my video, but Tim personally invited me to help uh, share his masterclass. And I've got to say, I'm totally honored to be part of Tim's world. A couple other things before we get going. Uh, when you sign up to the masterclass, he does member only live streams where you can actually chat with him directly and he'll answer your questions. So uh, like, what did, what should I make for dinner tonight? Or what's the best brand of socks for playing guitar? I don't think he'll answer that, but maybe. Seriously though, check it out. Sign up. The best part is there's a two week free trial. So 14 days, you can check it out. If you don't like it, you can cancel. They won't be mad at you. You can just do it, you know? And the most coolest thing, if I've already said the coolest thing, take a look in the description. I've got a special link. It's timpierce.com slash Landon, and you get $40 off for the life of your membership. So that's a really great deal. Like seriously, the, the value is insane for that course. So anyways. Okay, more about the guitar. I'm reading this from their website, so I don't screw anything up. Why screw it up? If there's a mistake, it's their mistake, not mine. So it's a 25 and a half inch scale length guitar. Roasted, they say book matched mahogany, but how would you even know? Maybe it was, I can't really say. Three ply pick guard, black. Uh, white, black, <laughs> just checking. The, uh, the wood on the neck is roasted maple. Again, I can't confirm it. It's got this graphite finish, color, graphite color finish, okay? They say India Rosewood fretboard, a 9.5 inch to 14 inch compound radius. The neck profile is U to C, and you need to see it. I say that joke every time, it's horrible. 22 jumbo stainless steel frets, amazing frets. These frets are crazy, every time. Bone nut, got a dual action bottom wheel truss rod where you stick the little peg in there and that's where you turn it. And now these are totally new to me. 
EART custom EACP active humbuckers. And uh, we're going to hear those because they're active. You need the battery for it. Three-way switch, one volume, one tone. Custom EART tuners and then uh, fixed bridge so there's no trim in this system. Satin metal black is what they call the finish. <laughs> Let's take a look at the guitar. I'll put it on my bench and we'll weigh it. It's a good weight. You're seeing the weight here. And we'll check the resistance now of the pickups. You got the neck here. Let's crank it up. 16.56. And then set it to the middle there. 12. And then bridge 16 again. Let's take a look under the pick guard. Pop the screws off. And now here's where I stop. And I just got a photo because I need to take the neck off to get this one out. It's one of these ones where you don't have enough space because the pickup underneath and the cavity, they don't give you enough room to actually pull the pick guard off without removing the neck. So it's routed for one humbucker under the pick guard. Not a surprise, right? What else would it be? And then flipping it around, checking it out. You've got the controls and the place where you put your nine volt battery. And the battery is not included. Isn't that the most important part? Taking a look inside, it actually surprised me. It's got the mini pots and the PCB switch. I couldn't tell from feeling it, from turning the knobs and flicking the switch. I was actually fooled. I think that's happened before on EART guitars. I can usually tell like on a Squire or a lower price guitar, I flick the switch and I'm like, that feels cheap. You can just feel the metal doesn't feel as good. This one feels okay. Maybe because it's routed through the wood and not sticking out. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's not your tor it's not your turf flop. It's not your normal telly style control plate here, right? It's all in the back. So maybe that has something to do with the, the leverage or how it feels. I'm just making up stuff. Okay, let's cycle through the pickups. You'll hear the neck, the neck and bridge, and then the bridge on its own. I'm gonna be playing through my Rev G50, and I'll use the uh, blue channel for clean and the purple channel for the dirty stuff. All right, my thoughts about the guitar. Uh, I've probably said this on every EART guitar. Fit and finish is amazing. It's like a satin finish, and I, I really like it. It's really cool. I uh, love the look of this one. I've checked out a bunch of EART guitars, and all of them have amazing fretwork. This one's no exception. They do these rounded frets, and I'll show it up close. You can see what I'm talking about. Super smooth. It's like they spend extra time on it. Tuners are great. Uh, they turn really smoothly. Um, I'm not a battery guitar lover is that a thing i don't love batteries in a guitar so that's one thing i don't love but you can't get around that with uh active hum or active pickups in this case active humbuckers do they make active single coils uh i was fooled like i said about the controls right i didn't i thought they were just i thought they were gonna be full-size pots you can't really tell they're smooth and then the control i thought the control was a regular like a switchcraft or something Anyways, I've never been a fan of those parts. That'd probably be, be my biggest complaint about the guitar, which is nothing really, because you could always swap that out. But yeah, overall, amazing. Uh, it's a modern telly. Like, ooh, ah, blah. 
If you don't like a telly because you want the arm carve or you want a belly cut, this has that. So again, thanks to ERT for sponsoring the video. And don't forget to check out Tim Pierce's masterclass. The link is below. Super highly mega recommended. It's awesome. I'm doing it. I'm plowing through it, which I thought I'd get through it a lot quicker. But there's so much material. It's crazy. There's so much stuff for everybody. Everybody. Anybody. Go check it out. And as always, play guitar and have fun. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.